Plate tectonics assumes that crustal plates have moved thousands of kilometers. The zodiac fan presents a major problem for this central premise of plate tectonics, and this problem has become known as the zodiac fan anomaly. I've added the zodiac fan to my paleographic reconstructions. Whenever a large river enters the ocean, it carries hundreds of tons of silt and mud into the ocean. This sediment accumulates on the ocean floor as a growing fan-shaped structure. The zodiac fan is about a million square kilometers in area and contains nearly three million cubic kilometers of fine-grained mud. The maximum thickness of the fan is more than 600 meters, gradually thinning out towards the edges. The mud has been dated to be at least 24 million years old, so we know that it must have been carried there by a massive river system flowing off the land more than 24 million years ago. It has been estimated that this river would have drained an area of at least half a million square kilometers, which is about half the total area of Alaska. In 1983, three oceanographers from the United States Geological Survey noticed a strange anomaly with the fan. Standard plate tectonic reconstructions positioned the ocean floor thousands of kilometers from any continental landmass. We can see the anomaly that was troubling the oceanographers by simply clicking back to 20 million years ago on the plate tectonic reconstruction. The inferred ocean crust above the fan must be subducted into the trench to move the Pacific plate back to its present day position. The authors thought that such a large distance was unworkable. Not only was it thousands of kilometers away from the continent, but there was supposed to be a deep trench between the continent and the fan system. How could the river sediment have reached the ocean? Samuel Waring Carey noted that this problem only occurred with the plate tectonic theory. As Carey explained in his 1988 book, Theories of the Earth and Universe, there is no problem with Earth expansion. In the Eocene, plate tectonic reconstructions place the zodiac fan far out in the Pacific Ocean, thousands of kilometers away from any continental landmass. In contrast, Earth expansion reconstructions placed the zodiac fan next to, to the continental landmass, exactly where it should be to receive the massive amounts of sediment from a large river system. We see the same results on the paleographic reconstructions. With the plate tectonic reconstruction set at 20 million years, the zodiac fan is thousands of kilometers away from the continent. With the Earth expansion reconstruction, the zodiac fan is right next to the continent. There is no anomaly with Earth expansion. As Professor Carey asked in his book, which is credible, subduction or expansion? <laughs>